A decade of concerted international efforts has resulted in significant and tangible progress in key areas of everyday life in Afghanistan. Canada's goal is to leave Afghanistan to Afghans, better governed and self-sustaining, more stable and secure, and never again a safe haven for terrorists. Because without security, there can be no development. Canada and the international community's objective for security in Afghanistan has been to create and sustain a secure environment that is founded on the principles of the rule of law, an environment in which individuals feel safe and secure. Almost non-existent in 2001, the Afghan National Security Forces are now a combined force of over 300,000 members, including women police officers. Canada trained a considerable number of those army and police officers and provided funding to help build police stations, pay police salaries, and equip officers. As a result, a growing number of Kandaharis say they feel safer in their communities, a situation that is creating real opportunities for peaceful progress in all spheres of society. Economic growth in Afghanistan is paving the way for sustainable advances and real opportunities for all Afghans. Business is growing, jobs are being created. Electricity production grew more than fivefold in just five years. Kandahar City is a world apart from what it used to be under Taliban rule. Lights from businesses and homes light up the night sky. Not too long ago, the Argandab irrigation system and the Dala Dam in Kandahar were in ruins. Today, water is flowing again, and Afghan farmers have begun to return this area to the major center of food production it once was. In the spring of 2011, local farmers and the community celebrated the first crop of saffron in 30 years. Although much remains to be achieved, the living standards and the quality of life of Kandaharis have improved. In Afghanistan today, some 7 million children are now in school, 10 times more than a decade ago. And a third of these students are girls, the highest enrollment rate in the country's history. The seeds sown today by educating a future generation of Afghans will reap substantial benefits over time and help secure Afghanistan's future. Under Taliban rule, Afghan women faced incredible hardship. The rights of women simply did not exist. Women could not vote, and schools for girls were closed. Today, those rights are enshrined in the country's constitution. Canada has fought for the establishment and protection of human rights in Afghanistan, including the rights of women and children. Although women in Afghanistan today still face serious challenges, the considerable strides Afghan women have made in the past 10 years have resulted in a stronger, more cohesive society. Canada's new role in Afghanistan will build on the accomplishments of Canada's mission over the past 10 years. For more information on Canada's new priorities, please visit www.afghanistan.gc.ca.